Howdy everyone, this is Rob Wood from New Zealand Post. Today we're going to be looking at the bulk printing feature in eShip. Bulk printing allows us to print multiple tickets all at once, which can be a great time saver, particularly when you consider you can do multiples of 20, 50, or even 100 labels at a time. First of all, we're going to need some orders to bulk print. I've created a CSV file filled with orders that we can import now. Let's do it. Import Upload CSV file, select the file, import CSV, give it a few seconds, done, and then choose close. Great, we've got some orders now. The next step is to identify addressing issues, which will prevent us from being able to print the tickets. Luckily for us, eShip will highlight orders with invalid addresses by showing an exclamation mark on the right-hand column. We can manually open orders and change the addresses, or, and this is much faster, particularly if we have a large number of errors, we can use the Issues filter. Just click on this. The Issues filter will highlight all of the addressing errors and allow us to either manually correct them by clicking on the individual fields, and making the changes as required, or simply using this autocorrect button. This will attempt to correct every single address, and it'll highlight the changes it made in red so that you can confirm that these are the ones you want. In my case, the suburb was not the right one, and the postcode was missing a leading zero. Now I can simply hit Save Changes, and there are no more issues. Going back to the Art and Shift filter, there we go, we have five orders ready to ship. The next thing to watch out for is to ensure that services have been applied to every order. As you can see, the order that I had previously with an error has not had a service assigned to it automatically because the address was wrong. We're going to need to manually fix this one. Simply click on the order number and choose the service that you want. I'm going to go for an A5 track pack. You can also use this opportunity to make other changes to the order as well. Say for example, you want to use a completely different address, change the name of the person it's being sent to, or adjust the item contents. At this point however, remember to click save and not print labels because we're going to bulk print this one. Saving it saves the changes, but keeps it in the unshipped queue. One limitation to keep in mind when bulk printing in eShip is that you can only bulk print labels for one carrier at a time. To make this easy, we can use the carrier filter to choose individual carriers. In this case, I've got just my carrier post orders ready to go. Simply tick all the orders you wish to bulk print. I'm going to use this tick box to select all of them. Then click the print button and then choose to print shipping. Finally, confirm. This can take a few seconds, particularly if you're doing large quantities of orders. For my example, I've set my printer to be a PDF printer so that you can see the results. In this case, we get a file containing three labels. If you were using a label printer, they would all be printed consecutively from the label printer. Now we can do the same for my New Zealand Post labels. I'm going to use the carrier filter, choose New Zealand Post, tick the tickets, and then I can bulk print them. Savvy watchers will have noted that I haven't performed an example for paste labels, and there's a reason for this. Paste labels can't be bulk printed at this time. This is because paste labels have to have a schedule created for when the courier will pick up the items. That concludes this lesson. Thanks for watching.